We have more breaking news today as the Blackhawks have officially set to release Corey Perry. You know, this comes after that major incident what's happened over the past few days and weeks. And we don't really still know the situation, but we do now know that the Blackhawks are waiving Corey Perry in the purpose of contract termination. So before we get into all of this, just quickly, we know that a lot of you guys are not subscribed to the channel that are watching right now, and make sure to subscribe because you're going to want to keep up with this story as more things come out. We don't have too much right now, but we have a, a lot of stuff to talk about still, so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the Chicago Blackhawks news. But moments ago, Corey Perry has been waived by the Blackhawks in, con in purpose of contract termination. This came out from Charlie Rumeliotis, once again, the Blackhawks legend, uh, breaking the Blackhawks, pla Blackhawks have placed Corey Perry on unconditional waivers to plan to terminate his contract effective immediately. The team statement here says, After an internal investigation, the Blackhawks have determined that Corey Perry has engaged in conduct that is unacceptable and in violation of both terms of his standard player's contract and the Blackhawks' internal policies intended to promote professional and safe work environments. As such, Corey Perry has been placed on unconditional waivers in the event Mr. Perry clears waivers. We intend to terminate his contract effective immediately. Now, you know, this is major news. We've been talking about this over the past few days. We've been saying how good Corey Perry's been on this team and how, you know, he seemed like a father figure, but I guess that's not the case. What's happened right now is just seems very, very, um, you know, made to be this effectively immediately you know using those words just seems very very strict but something big must be happening Noah what do you think about this before we dive into what's actually going on yep it's really really strange you know I don't think I've I've ever really seen something sort of like this you know very cryptic very you know they don't want to get it out they don't but that's very common in Chicago Blackhawks uh in that organization I won't dive into that into that at all i know that's not what we're we're about but uh you know it's I, it doesn't surprise me if they're trying to sweep this under the rug yeah i, I honestly no clue what it could be you know it's like you said it's very weird that nothing gets released in terms of knowing at least something we do know there was a lot of rumors going around on twitter or x and you know kind of everywhere now this was from yesterday charlie romeliotis once again he said the rumors that cory perry uh, are going around about cory perry are 100 percent false and he should carry on. Now, you know, that kind of seemed reasonable after yesterday when he said that he's yeah. probably the main reporter that I I acknowledge for the Blackhawks, the guy you see the most really on Twitter. Now seeing this today and seeing that his contract is being terminated uh, effective immediately, that kind of, you know, seems like it could be something... Makes you wonder. Yeah, it makes you wonder what, could, what it could really be about. Now, once again, we don't know too much about this yet, but Kyle Davidson will be meeting with the media today at 4 p.m. Central, so... I'm sure we'll be having an update about that. I don't know if he will actually um, reveal anything. It might just be kind of an update about what's going on, how things are going to work from now on. But, you know, we've been talking about Corey Perry as being one of the leaders on this team. And, you know, even in the locker room, it seemed like, seemed like, I should say, it seemed like. And on the ice especially. And now having that kind of flip, do a full 180, we don't. it's kind of, just, it's really weird. You know, I don't know what much else to say it about is, it. Yeah, it's strange. But... One thing the Blackhawks... Well, you, Go ahead. Or, you know, he was brought in, and we've seen all these things about team meetings, and they had to close... They had the locker room doors closed, and they had, you know, the, like, players-only meetings and stuff like that. It, it really makes you wonder what is really going on in that in that locker room. Yeah, you know, like, the locker... The pl uh, players-only meeting seemed to be a bit of accountability. Obviously, there was guys, other guys like Nick mm -hmm. Foligno who said stuff in that. He's, like, the unnamed official captain of that team the unnamed captain yeah yeah and he, like you know a lot of those guys just said we don't really know what's going on we kind of wish he was being there he was there so not mm -hmm. like you know players not even knowing is definitely something else especially where uh Connor Bedard said that that was the rumors going on about involving him as well that he even didn't know what was going on wish Perry was there with the team but you have mm -hmm. to focus on the game plan it's just very, it's a very odd situation that we don't know very much of it right is, now, yeah. and if we do at all. But the Blackhawks are very lucky to have a veteran presence on this team uh, still, without the, with the absence of Corey Perry, you know, Nick Foligno, Taylor Hall, those guys. They're capable of also keeping this team um, focused on the game, not focusing too much on that. Because, you know, over the next few days, the amount of questions these players, these staff members are going to get on this oh situation, I can't even imagine how many, uh, how yeah. many answers they're going to have to give the same. It's just going to be a copy and paste pretty much of... We don't know too much. It's an unfortunate situation, you know. That's just going to be said, I would say, at least 100 times a day over the next few weeks for these guys. 
So having this veteran presence, yeah, having this veteran presence, being able to keep this team on their toes, keeping them ready uh, and focused on the actual game of hockey rather than what's going on behind the scenes, that's an important part. So, you know, like I said, we don't know too much, but I'm sure that we will bring you more updates whether when they come out, whether it's, you know, after the uh, Kyle Davidson media availability today, whether it's over the next few days or weeks, so you won't want to miss it. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any of the breaking news that we will be bringing to you around the league and mainly the Chicago Blackhawks. So that's all we got for right now. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe. Uh, yeah, but that's it. Stay on your toes. We'll be keeping the news here. Make sure to keep an eye out, but <laughs> thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you later.